there my foxy family thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today I am going to be showing you how it is that I do my updated foundation routine so the reason that I am making this video today is because I no longer include my foundation and contour portion of my makeup in my makeup tutorials so if you're ever watching one of my tutorials and you have questions about how it is that I do my face this video is going to answer those questions for you. Also, I'm super hyper aware that I probably look crazy to most of you, but makeup is art to me, so if it's not to you, move along. So basically, in this video, I am just going to be going over what it is I do off camera in makeup tutorials, so if you have questions, this video should answer any of those that you may have. Now before we get started with my foundation, please don't forget to smash me a like while you're here if you at any point in time enjoyed this video. Also don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Without further ado, let's get into the foundation routine. To start, I have already cleansed and moisturized my face. The key to any good foundation day is going to be a really great skincare routine beforehand. Take it from me, someone who didn't pay attention to my skin literally at all for years and years. And then when I started taking care of my skin, getting myself in a routine of cleansing my face, toning my face, moisturizing, so on and so forth, just having a really tight routine, it has absolutely changed the way my foundation applies to my skin. About 10 minutes before I actually start applying my makeup, I do like to add in a few extra steps just so that my skin is nice and ready to receive that foundation. So the first thing that I like to do is douse my entire face with some rose water. Now rose water has become absolutely essential in my skin prepping routine. It is something that has so many freaking benefits, it's not funny. The list is a mile long. Some of those benefits are that rose water is a pH balancer, so it will balance the pH levels in your skin. It is also a toner, an antioxidant, an antibacterial, and also the actual scent of it is said to reduce stress. So. That is a bonus for me. Probably my favorite benefit though is that it does reduce redness in your skin. So I'll spritz a little bit of this on my skin before applying my makeup so it tones down that redness and I don't have to work extra hard to cover it. Then I like to apply a few drops of my Nip and Fab Smooth. The one that I personally like to use is the Viper Venom Fix Blurring Shot. What this does for me is it smooths out my fine lines and wrinkles so I'm not looking like a grandma. This is by no means a miracle worker and it does not like absolutely make them disappear but I need all the help I can get and it does make a little bit of a difference so who yes girl I usually load up one little shot worth and I do a drop here by my eye a little here on my chin my smile lines and then here on my 11 line then I just gently tap that into the skin and then lastly, I like to do a little bit of prep work on my lips. Because I use liquid lipstick almost every day, my lips need a lot of extra care and attention. So I like to use my Tonic Lip Gold. So I will be back in 10 minutes and we'll get started with this foundation routine. Okay, so it's been a little bit over 10 minutes. My skin has had the proper amount of time to soak in all of those products and we are ready for primer. Now typically my favorite primer ever is the NYX Angel Veil, but for some reason it has a really weird reaction with the nip and fab it kind of pills up and gets really gunky and weird so I don't have any issues with my wet and wild coverall primer so I will be using that today I've got to be able to figure out a way to get my angel veil primer to not pill because it's weird and it's my favorite and I haven't been able to use it in a while and for an extra bit of primer, I do like to use my Porefessional from Benefit, but as you can see, this guy has been like squeezed to the max, so we're gonna see if we can even get anything from it today. Oh, oh, I thought it was the end of the road, but we still got some. 
And with the Porefessional, you really only need a tiny bit. And you want to like smooth it into the skin first and then like press it into your pores. So now I need to do a little bit of color correcting to my skin. I have really, really dark circles. Also, I have a bit of yellowness. My redness, I don't pay too much attention to because my foundation usually does cover any redness that I do have because I am a full coverage girl. So for correcting, I love my new LA Girl concealers. These are not new by any means, but they're new to me because I have not had these for super long, but I definitely am in love with these. I do also like the new Wet n Wild cushion correctors, but I do prefer these over this. So I'm going to start out with the peach. What peach is going to do is cancel out any darkness, so dark circles. I like to put a little under my eyes and just a little up onto my lid, just a tiny bit to cancel out some of the darkness up there. Then I'm going to go in with the lavender. Lavender is going to correct yellowness and I have a lot of yellow e patches in my skin. So I like to take this, ooh, spread it out a little. So I like to take this under my eyes because right away those dark circles like melt into this weird yellow and then I do like to do a little here around my mouth. <laughs> delightful nugget. That was so delightful. <laughs> Pardon my dog's manners. And then to blend that out I actually just like to take my finger and kind of blend these out. Now you don't have to worry about really blending it out super well because the foundation that you put on over top of it is gonna do a lot of that for you. So just kind of buff it out so that there's no like globs of product where the foundation could catch and mix with it. And today I am going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Porcelain. Lately this has been my favorite foundation. It just feels really nice and lightweight on my skin and I love the finish that it gives. But some of my other favorites are my Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation, my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, and also the foundation from e.l.f. But today we're just going in with the Wet n Wild and I don't care how many people are gonna be like, ew gross, I just take the spatula and dot it all over my face. I really will never understand why people get so like offended by the way you apply your makeup to your face and not theirs. Catch me outside, how about that? I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> then with my beauty blender, I am just going to blend this all out. And then because I like to be real extra and I am a full coverage girl, we're going in with a little bit more. Now I know what y'all are thinking, like, woo, girl is ghosty. Ghosty. But rest assured, this does oxidize on my skin a little and it will tone down, especially with all the powder and bronzer and yada yada. Now for concealer, I am going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I don't really have any other favorites right now. I jumped on the Shape Tape train and I jumped on hard. So I place a few dots of this on my forehead, a little down my nose, and then here on my chin and blend that out. And then I do create a triangle under my eyes and blend that out as well. So now we're all concealed. I need to set it and bake. And I like to use my Coke Tea Air Spun Powder. And right before I go in with the powder, I make sure those wrinkly creases under the eyes ain't acting up. And then I take just a little bit of powder on the end of my beauty blender and go in. I also like to set anywhere that I know I am going to crease. So I add a little bit of powder here to my 11 line, also a little on my chin, and then I place some here on my smile line. Now I let that sit and bake for probably about 10, 15 minutes, and in the meantime, I like to do my brows, but I won't be showing you on camera today because I don't like to do my brows 
for anyone. They are my most criticized thing on social media and I would just prefer not to because I don't want to hurt. So I'm going to go do my eyebrows really quick and I will be right back. Okay, my brows are done and that powder has been sitting on my face for a while now and I'm going to take a large powder brush and dust this all off. I kind of like to work it into my skin that is still slightly damp from the foundation um, so that it kind of sets that as well without over you know, caking it on because we already have so much foundation on. So I'm going to dust that off and just kind of buff it into the skin. Now for contouring, there are several different products that I bounce between. My two favorites definitely are my Anastasia of Beverly Hills contour kit, and then also my shade in light palette from Kat Von D. But for today, I am going to be using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills. So I like to take a really small powder brush, and what I like to do is bounce between these two shades, I just bounce a little bit of product onto my brush. So to contour my cheeks, I don't exactly go in the hollows of my cheeks, what I do is I slightly angle it upward and down. I personally have gained a little bit of weight recently and my face has changed on me a bit and I'm carrying a little bit more weight in here. And by angling this up and slanting it down, it's just gonna sculpt this line out and make my face appear slightly slimmer. More slim, slimmer whatever. So I start with the majority of my product here where the hollows of the cheeks are and then as I go down it gradually fades itself out and then I just go through and really buff that in and blend it out. Okay so now this is really buffed out and it looks super dark on camera but in real life and in pictures and stuff it is not this severe. So, uh, it don't look like this. Next is my forehead, and I like to just take the powder, again, those two shades mixed together, and I kind of like dab it on first. I place this over my temples and then slightly along my hairline. And once I have dabbed the product on, I just buff it out. For me personally, I always like to like lift my hair and really get the product into my hairline so that I don't have that weird discoloration where my scalp is super bright. It just really helps to blend that in and make it look a lot more natural, as natural as this much makeup can be. And then for my jawline, I do cut slightly above my jaw. Again, because I have put on some weight, it's all right here in this area. So I'm just gonna cut that off. It's like a little plastic surgery in a brush, girl. Then again, for my chin, I feel like my chin like sticks out just slightly too much. So I like to just slightly buff some color there at the base of my chin. And I do slightly contour down my neck, just the hollows. Like if you look at your neck, you have two like dips here, or you should, or maybe you don't. I don't know. But right here, it just slims it out and kind of slims down that neck a little bit. And then finally, I do like to contour my nose. I first start out with a small, a flat-edged shader brush, and I use this to kind of outline my nose contour. Okay, so I first place a line here. What that is going to do is shorten my nose, and then I like to take and kind of cut my nostril off, making my nose appear, again, shorter and more petite. Then I'm going to line down the sides. It is much easier to place your brush and move your head and not your brush, so you make sure you get a straight line because my hand tends to like to just not do straight lines. What I'm saying is it's got a mind of its own and it'll just wiggle wobble whenever it wants. And then again, to shorten that nostril, I'm gonna take a little bit of pigment and kind of work it in the back. Tiny and petite. Tiny and petite. Now that I have the outline done, I just like to take a fluffier angle brush and just start buffing and working that in. And then my final little touch to my nose is to take that angle brush again. We're just gonna cut the nose off so it looks ever so slightly turned in. So when I am done with my entire foundation routine, my contour, my eyebrows, I do use a setting spray and then I will use a setting spray again when I am finally finished with my entire makeup look. So I am going to set my face with the 
photo focus from Wet n Wild. I just really like this line, the photo focus line. I think it is a fantastic line. But I also like Kat Von D's setting spray. And sometimes I will even just go back in with my rose water and kind of set it all because it is an astringent and a toner. And in a pinch, it does the trick. Okay, so this was my entire foundation routine. I am a full coverage foundation girl. I do love my coverage to be full and caked on without looking cakey, but I still like a really heavy mask on my face. But remember that you are beautiful in your own skin. You don't need makeup to be beautiful. You are beautiful just the way you are. If you follow me on Instagram um, and watch my story often, I am more than likely not going to have makeup on. I don't wear makeup unless I am filming, I'm in front of the camera, or I have a special occasion to go to. Any other time going out to the grocery store, just going out period, I am full naked face. So just be confident in your own skin. You don't need foundation. You don't need any of this. I don't need this at all, but I like it. It is my personal preference. I feel good in it. So that's what is important. Just feeling good being you. I'm so sick and tired of people just having an opinion about someone else's appearance. Ugh. Why is it any of your business? Why? Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to smash that like button because it helps us reach more people. The more likes we get, the more this video is circulating and the more that we get to grow our, our Foxy Foxy family here on YouTube. I love you guys so stinking much. All of my social media links and stuff like that are going to be down below. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button now if you feel like my videos might be something you want to watch in the future. Anyways, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I can't wait to see you in my very next video. I love your faces. Well, okay, bye. Meow.